Hello beautiful souls! Welcome back to another video on Starseed Academy. My name is Jenny. So today we're doing a June energy report. So we've been doing these monthly reports since April and we did May and now we're doing June because there is like a monthly theme that keeps coming through for me when I'm tapping into this energy of ascension energies plus what the collective consciousness is needing and where like earth is at right now with the spiritual warfare. The Ascension, Starseeds in general, how their collective is doing because we have our own collective of Starseed souls that are here on Earth assisting, volunteering, and being in service. So these monthly videos are really geared towards you Starseeds and what you can expect to be coming up for you physically, energetically, emotionally, and how you can use that energy to your advantage not only for your personal life but in your service and in your mission work okay so before we dive right into this june energy report i just want to remind you to like this video share it and subscribe to the channel for new videos every sunday monday wednesday so the theme that was happening for june that's coming through in a big way is breaking through so this is a huge shift in energy from what we've experienced lately and a lot of this energy came through during the um, super flower blood moon, which was a super full moon and a total lunar eclipse that happened at the end of May. So that portal, that vortex really ushered in a lot of this energy and its transition energy, its change, it's fresh. It's like a breath of fresh air, light at the end of the tunnel, a very much more uplifting energy than what we've been going through for the past few months well basically since the beginning of this year so it's definitely a huge shift i'm super excited to be able to report that to you because it's been tough like for all of us it's been so heavy and there's been so much seriousness and intensity and so now we're getting into a much more uplifting high vibrational energy so this breakthrough energy is going to be coming with huge moments of enlightenment for you like aha moments where things are like clicking together and you're finding it easier to kind of like step into or it's more of like a stepping back into soul awareness when you zoom out and you you know view the situation through the eyes of your soul that soul perspective it's going to be a lot easier for do, for you to do that it's going to come much more naturally and in line with that, you're going to be living and feeling more in the role of observer mode. So to, to truly be in observer mode, that is the soul. That is an awakened, aware soul in observer mode in this incarnation, kind of watching everything. Because the ego, the human, they are not observers. Um, the soul is the observer. And when it happens, observer mode goes both ways. It's being able to observe your inner world as well as observe the outer world. It's a very like peaceful, still energy, a lot of presence. So you're gonna be finding that is happening for you more. And I know that that's something that we all strive for is to be more present. And so that's the kinds of energies that are pouring onto the earth. For this month of June. You're also going to have a sense of ease and this ease is going to actually flow from the top down. So it's just a sense of ease and energy like an energetic relaxing like you're gonna feel like your chakras your whole energetic system kind of just a sense of ease and it's gonna start all the way from the top and work all the way down and you might even have like waves of those moments where a sense of ease just overtakes you and you suddenly realize that everything is going to be okay that everything is in the right place at the right time you are right on track just that good feeling where light and hope return again and speaking of hope that is a very powerful rainbow energy so I've definitely been picking up on a lot of rainbow energy over the last maybe two weeks and it's just going to grow in June. So you're going to see a lot of rainbows and a lot of rainbow symbology um, and rainbows stand for hope, obviously, but also for courage. 
So really expect that rainbow energy to ramp up this month. And it's some of my favorite energy. It's so beautiful. I love seeing rainbows everywhere I go, everywhere I turn, even online. It's like everything has a rainbow in it or something. So really look for that and attach to that because everything carries energy. Attach to that is that hope and that courage. We're also going to see freedom starting to spread in the month of June, which is something that humanity and this world needs so much. We're definitely going to see more freedom energy and it's gonna to start to spread, which is so exciting. And so you can assist that freedom energy and, and to help it to spread through really focusing on it. Notice the freedom, because what we focus on, what we put our attention on, it grows. So really notice it, like, be grateful for the freedoms that you see coming back. Grateful seeing it spread. And use a positive outlook and your heart energy to really spread it like wildfire. So our hearts went through major upgrades in the month of April and May. Huge upgrades. And that is a lot of why it was those two months were so difficult. Because when you're upgrading the heart, everything's coming to the surface that no longer aligns or is not in um resonance with the upgrade right so if we're upgrading everything that doesn't match the upgrade had to be purged and so we were really purging especially i mean both months but especially at the end of may um, and so now we've got these beautiful upgraded heart chakras so lean into that it, it's coming online this month for june it's it's been activated so really lean into that new heart chakra energy and live from that space because with a, an upgrade to the heart chakra, it means expansion. And that's open heart living, which we talk about a lot on this channel. Open heart living is the best life that you could possibly have, where you refuse to close your heart no matter what you experience or feel. That you accept everything as a beautiful like lesson or medicine or experience for you. Because life is happening for you, not to you. And so we remember that and we empower ourselves with that. So really lean into this open heart, expanded heart chakra energy and do your very best to like live from that space. And being in that observer mode will definitely help with this. And so with that feeling of ease that I was referring to earlier, how there's gonna be a sense of ease that starts from the top down, really that's, it's a sense of peace too. Those two words could really be interchanged, ease and peace. And it's going to be so much like these waves of them that you're going to find that there'll be moments where you just you just find yourself smiling to yourself like out of nowhere all of a sudden you just hmm everything feels really good and you just feel happy and you feel peaceful and you feel at ease and it's your body and it's your energy and your emotions it's all the things and the news like the outside, the news and the media and all of that, it won't matter anymore. Even if it's not in a state of ease and peace, it doesn't matter anymore. And you're gonna feel like that because you're gonna realize that these energies are here supporting you and your mission and your starseed soul. That's the energies pouring through. They're very galactic heart energies, very pure. So all of that outside noise just doesn't matter anymore you find like you you'll find you don't even really pay attention to it as much as you were you don't need to follow along it's not your world you don't worry about it because you are being supported with this energy it's supporting the growth of this now the peace the ease the light the hope it's something new so you're gonna feel more supported than you have in a long time by the energies by the universe and your teams and all of that and you're also gonna feel more like yourself than you have in a long time. It's gonna be like a, like a returning home, like a sense of returning home to yourself. Like, whoa, where have I been? It's been so chaotic. It's been so much growth, so much change. It's like a breath of ease and fresh air, returning home to yourself, feeling supported, feeling more like yourself than you have in a very long time. Gratitude is also going to come very easy this month. All the things that we try to work on, the presence and the gratitude, they're just flowing in to the point where you actually might 
like have tears of gratitude, cry out of gratitude. When that happens, bask in that energy. Bask in that beautiful, powerful energy of gratitude. Gratitude is all healing and all creating. So bask in the gratitude, be so grateful, feel it with your whole body. And it's gonna help you to feel more grounded in your body. You're gonna be feeling somehow more like the human yet also more like the soul. Like this is a real month for alignment of the soul and the body. And I do have a video about the balance between soul and human. So if you're interested in hearing more about that, please check that video out. Um, but that's this kind of energy, like feeling really, really grounded in the body and really grateful to the point of tears, but so high vibe. And this energy is also really supporting your dreams. So your hopes, your dreams, what you want to create and manifest. But instead of feeling like you have to like kind of struggle through through the mud for it and feeling like like the heavy weight of trying to, you know, push your way through, it's going to feel so much more effortless. Like where you almost don't even really need a plan. You just feel it and think it and all this gratitude and presence and things just happen. This is the kind of magical month that we're in store for. So this energy is like, it's ascension energy, but it's like an ascension reward for getting this far. It truly is. And your soul is going to recognize this energy from home, right? From, from source. Really, it's truly gonna recognize this rewarding ascension energy. It's gonna feel almost like a bit of a completion because at the end of May it was like a death and then the beginning of June was like a rebirth. So we're kind of like completion and like a starting of a new, fresh, exciting cycle. It's a really good place to be for this energy. So your soul will recognize it. It will feel like rewards, like rewarding energy, like you're being rewarded in some way. Just remember that when, as the month is going along, remember this video, you're gonna be feeling all these ways. And you're gonna think to yourself, oh my God, that's the ascension reward. That's the energy permeating the planet and you during this month. So we have so much goodness to look forward to, so much light, laughter, just a lighter, beautiful energy to live in. Thank goodness we could all use this kind of a month. It's so exciting. So please let me know um, how your May has been in the comments down below. Did you, are you experiencing that death, that purge, that end of the heart purge, the heart chakra upgrades, and ready for this new fresh energy? I hope that you are and on board with all of this. So I look forward to reading your comments. Please remember if you're looking to work with me personally that I have so many services, um, including healings, breakthrough sessions, um, counseling sessions, readings, so many. So check out the links in the description box below. Also, please remember that if you're really resonating with my energy, then it would be so lovely if you made a donation, which is the first link in the description box below of any amount of your choice. I am so grateful when you do, so appreciative. Um, I love to be of service in this way and offer all of this free content. So any donations are truly appreciated and my soul thanks you. And then of course, before we go, I wanna remind you to listen to your heart. and the quiet voice within. Because you are so much more than the body you are in. Thank you so much, have a beautiful day. See you in June, bye.